Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the circuit based on the ideal op amp. Moreover, here we have been also given the expression for the IV characteristic of the diode. So in this expression, this Vt is the thermal voltage, and here that is equal to 25 millivolt. Moreover, here this I0 is equal to 1 microampere, and here this voltage V is the voltage across the diode in the photo bias condition. So in this circuit, we have been asked to find the output voltage V out when the input voltage is equal to minus 1 volt. So first of all, here we have been given that the given op is the ideal op -amp. That means here, the no current is flowing into the op terminals. And because of the negative feedback, here we can apply the concept of the virtual ground. So here if you notice, then the non inverting terminal of the op -amp is at the ground potential. That means here, the voltage at this inverting terminal will also be equal to 0 volt. So now let's say the current which is flowing through this 100 kilo ohm resistor is equal to I1. And this current I1 will flow from the 0 volt to minus 1 volt because the current flows from the higher voltage to the lower voltage. Similarly, let's say the current through this diode is equal to I2. And if we apply the KCL at this node, then this current I2 should be equal to I1 because here the no current is flowing into the op -amp terminal. So now, first of all, let us find this current I1. So here, this current I1 is equal to 0 minus minus 1 volt divided by 100 kilo ohm. That is equal to 10 microampere. That means this current I1 is equal to 10 microampere. And the same current will also flow through this diode. That means here, this I1 is equal to I2 is equal to 10 microampere. So once we know this current I2, then we can easily find the voltage drop across this 4 kilo ohm resistor. So let's say this voltage drop is equal to V1 and the voltage drop across this diode is equal to Vd. So now if we apply the KVL in this loop, then we can say that this output voltage V out is equal to V1 plus Vd. That is equal to this 10 microampere times 4 kilo ohm plus Vd. That means V out is equal to this 40 millivolt plus Vd. So now to find this output voltage, we just need to find this voltage Vd. And to find this voltage Vd, we have already given the expression of the IV characteristic of the diode. So as per the expression of the IV characteristic of the diode, the current through the diode I is equal to I0 times this e to the power V divided by Vt minus 1. So here, the current through the diode is equal to 10 microampere. Moreover, here we also know the value of this I0 and the Vt. So here, the value of I0 is equal to 1 microampere. That means this 10 microampere is equal to 1 microampere times e to the power V divided by Vt minus 1. That means e to the power this V divided by Vt minus 1 that is equal to 10. Or we can say that this e to the power V divided by Vt is equal to 11. So now if we take the natural log on both sides, then we will get this V divided by Vt that is equal to natural log of 11 and that is roughly equal to 2.4. So from this we can say that this voltage V or the voltage across the diode is equal to 2.4 times Vt where the Vt is equal to 25 millivolt. That means the voltage V or the voltage across the diode is roughly equal to 60 millivolt. So in this way, we also got the value of the voltage across the diode. So now, this output voltage V out is equal to the voltage drop across this 4 kilo ohm resistor plus the voltage drop across the diode. So here, this voltage V1 is equal to 40 millivolt, while we have seen that the voltage drop across the diode is equal to 60 millivolt. That means the output voltage of this op amp is equal to 100 millivolt, or we can say that that is equal to 0.1 volt. So from this we can say that for the given question, this output voltage V out is equal to 0.1 volt. 
and therefore for the given question this b is the correct answer